Rolling here. And this episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Netflix. Check them out. Uh, I'm sitting here on the set of uh, Bullshit, uh, where we're, uh, we'll be shooting right after lunch, right over here. You see everybody, uh, the people that don't take lunch and just keep working, they're still around here. And the idea of these uh, pinpoint things, I'm going to just try to uh, talk about whatever is going on in my mind. I had this discussion the other day from a supporter of our president, um, Obama. And I've said before many times, I think Obama's a really good guy, and his heart's in the right place, and he's a really good uh, speaker, he has good diction, he says things, uh, says things smart, he says things uh, real. But I disagree with him on his basic idea of governing. And uh, mostly I disagree with him about, uh, about war, and about rights, and about redistribution of wealth. Where, you know, if you're gonna disagree with him, those are the three things you disagree with him on, I think. Um, but I had someone who was defending him, someone who was a, uh, uh, a real Barack Obama supporter, and they, this person was against the war when Bush was doing it. I mean, by the war, I mean the perpetual wars overseas, whether it's Afghanistan, Iraq, or Pakistan, I don't care. War, war, war overseas. And he was really against war when uh, Bush was in, but now that Obama was in, and the argument he made, which I thought was a, an amazing argument, he made the argument that, sure, Barack Obama seemed to imply he would stop the war, but of course he didn't. He said he was going to go. He, what he said in a lot of his campaign stuff was he was um, he was going to go into Afghanistan and other places and get us out of Iraq, which he's done some of. You know. But he's certainly gone into other places. You know, the drones have certainly what twice as many people as uh, as Bush killed with with the drones over there. Of course, the technology comes into that, so it's. You know, there's better technology for killing innocent people now than we had before, so we can't be blamed for that. Um, and the argument that this guy used, which I thought was astonishing, was that uh, Obama had his heart in the right place, was a good guy, and campaigned, and was honest about all of that. And then when he got in office, they gave him information that we don't have that made him change his mind on how he should govern. So there was the secret information, you get into the White House, you win, and then uh, everybody takes you aside, the real government people, the real people that run everything, and they take you aside and they say, listen, you've got the job now, here's the problem, we really have to do this. And then you get a lot of other information, and then you make the decision based on that. And I've bumped into a lot of people who believe that. They say, well, he promised these things, and the reason he didn't keep his promises was not because he was lying, but he learned stuff in office that changed his point of view, and now he's doing exactly what he should be doing. That could be true. That very well might be true. It might very well be true that when you campaign for president, you don't have a lot of information, but as soon as you become president, then you have a huge amount of information, and some of that information contradicts what you thought when you were campaigning. So you have to go with the new information, the stuff that the secret cabal that we don't know about is going to, uh, is going to tell you. There's one problem with that, and only one, and that is it negates all of democracy. There is not a reason in the world to vote or to discuss issues or to do anything. If there's secret information that only our leader has, then it, all we do is get a leader and put them in position forever. We just give them complete power. We get back to the benevolent despot idea. It negates all of democracy. Because if you vote for a good person who's run on something besides just I'm a good person, and then they're going to change that when they get in office because of special information, then there's no reason on earth to have free elections. And I also don't understand, and here's the big question. The big question is, if this is true for Barack Obama, that he got information that we're not privy to that changed the way he saw things, then why isn't that true for everyone? And more importantly, why wasn't that true for Bush? Isn't it possible that Bush was 
doing stuff just because he was told back to based on top secret information that we aren't privy to, and that it's exactly the same as Obama. So yes, it's a completely perfect argument. It makes your argument perfectly. It, it tells you, oh yeah, he's still a good person, that's why he did all that. But unfortunately, while you make that argument, you've negated all of democracy. This uh, pen point was brought to you by Netflix. I'll tell you a little bit more about Netflix when I pick up my, uh, my notebook and read off exactly what I'm supposed to say. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. Watch as many movies as you want. Shipping is free. There are never any late fees or no due dates. Keep the movies as long as you like. DVDs by mail, plus instantly right to your TV. Get unlimited movies two ways for only $8.99 a month. But as a new member and a PenPoint viewer, you can get a free trial membership. Go to www.netflix.com slash pen, P-E-N-N, and sign up now. <laughs> An attractive woman with a high IQ who is arrested for blasphemy. Look how hard I am. Three most underrated things in the world are French dressing, butterscotch pudding, and hand jobs. <laughs>